So we're just under two weeks away from the NFL Draft in Nashville, Tennessee, a long ways away from Radio City Music Hall in New York City when the draft was an annual staple of an event in NYC. But you know what? I like the fact that the NFL shifts it around and allows some of their other cities to enjoy this event in Nashville. I really haven't been there much. Um, I haven't gotten to hang out there much, I should say. I've been in and out of the city over the years, but it is supposed to be a great city, so I'm sure uh, they will do a great job hosting the event, and they will be hosting this franchise from Arizona named the Cardinals. They own the top overall pick. That's right, the Arizona Cardinals earned it with a lousy 3-13 and season in 2018. Now, usually when teams earn that top pick, it means there are a lot of needs. You got it. Offensively, defensively, special teams. Cardinals need a lot of work. Now, interestingly enough, when a guy like me, my name is Matt Levine, by the way, thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube station. Please do go ahead and subscribe. Check out 954sports.com. There's a comment section. Feel free to leave me your comments, um, and I will go ahead and read them on my Various sports reports here again on the YT station. So again, subscribe. Thank you in advance. Let's talk about what my job is. And that is to assess various players in various positions, and especially with this delicate, fragile, hyped number one pick, you talk about the guys that you can plug in who are blue chip worthy enough to be numero uno. However, when it comes to the 2019 draft and doing this mock draft for the Cardinals pick number one, it's pretty easy. There's only one player to assess. I would bet the house on it that the Cardinals are going one direction in this year's draft. It's not defense. It's not a skilled player such as a wide receiver or a hog molly as day of Gettleman of the Giants, the GM, likes to say, an interior lineman. Not a running back. They've got David Johnson. It's the quarterback. Yep, Cardinals are going quarterback all the way. Now, I know last year they selected Josh Rosen, traded up, made him the 10th overall pick in the draft in round one. It looked like they had solidified their quarterback position for years to come. However, there is a new coaching regime in the desert. Cliff Kingsbury has come to town. Uncle Cliff, Cliff with a K, from Texas. Head coach at Texas Tech the last six years, not a sparkling record. 35 and 40, eh. Bowl record, one and two. Let me give you another, eh. However, he's known as being a quarterback whisperer. Has worked with the likes of Johnny Manziel, Baker Mayfield, Pat Mahomes, and last year, he coached in a loss against Oklahoma, had all kinds of mad, crazy praise for Kyler Murray, who, by the way, is becoming the top pick in the NFL draft, no doubt about it, for the Cardinals. Murray, from Oklahoma University, University of Oklahoma, wins the Heisman last year, convincingly beat up on Kingsbury's Texas Tech squad, and afterward, Kingsbury was quoted as saying, he's a freak, and if I had the top overall pick in the draft, I would take him. Well, guess what? Coincidentally, isn't it amazing how the football gods work? He's the head coach now, at 40 years young, with the top overall pick in the draft, and the Heisman Trophy winner, who spurned Major League Baseball in the Oakland A's, who guaranteed him $14 million to come play baseball full-time. How did he do in baseball? Not too shabby. One year as a junior at Oklahoma, batted 296, 10 homers, 40-plus RBI, and 51 games, swiped 10 bases. Oakland believed this was the kind of player that could maybe be a 30-30 guy, hit 300. But Murray said, no, I want to play football. I know I'm 5'10", Played in my college weight a shade under 200. They say he's 207 now, but he was 195 in college. So he's put on 12 pounds of muscle, trying to be more durable like other shorter quarterbacks, a la Russell Wilson. So he's put on more weight, but still smaller than your traditional quarterback in the NFL. But he's following his heart, and I admire that. 
Thumbs up, kiddo. He wants to go play quarterback in the NFL. No baseball. By the way, Baker Mayfield, top overall pick as a quarterback last year. He cleared uh, as a top overall pick. Uh, the quarterback last year cleared a cool $32 million guaranteed. It's a lot of shekels. So, Kyler believes he can become the first overall pick for the Cardinals, and I believe that's the case. No need to mention any other players. So simple. The Oklahoma Sooner will become an Arizona Cardinal. How was he last year in winning the Heisman Trophy? I said it was convincing. Just over 1,000 yards rushing, 1,001 if you're keeping score at home. 12 touchdowns, 7.2 yards per carry. Throwing the football, 47 or 42 touchdowns, 7 interceptions, well over 4,000 yards passing. He can do it all. He's got a great attitude, says all the right things off the field. Take a quick listen. Like I said, I don't get to, you know, I don't make the decisions. I don't pick anybody. So all I can do is work hard, show up. Hales from Texas. And again, I believe he's going to Arizona. Josh Rosen, meanwhile, he'll be shipped out of Arizona. And I think the Cardinals will settle for a second round pick. Maybe get an extra pick in the later rounds or a, an established player to go along with it. Interestingly enough, the Cardinals have that top overall pick. They have 10 picks, but five of those come after the sixth round. So two in the sixth, three in the seventh. So they can use additional draft picks. So again, this is the simplest mock draft I'm ever going to do. And by the way, does size matter as an NFL quarterback? I think not. I mean, I'm a big believer in having a pocket passer like an Eli Manning only because, you know, I might be a Giants fan. Just saying. Couldn't tell by now. I like a guy who can stand in the pocket, you know, 6'3", 6'4". But then again, I'm a big lover of the mobile quarterbacks. Wilson, for one, Drew Brees, or smaller guys that can do things out of the pocket. More, I should say, like Wilson, like Lamar Jackson in Baltimore. I'm starting to appreciate his game. I was always a big fan of Tebow. And you know what? I love Doug Flutie. He had to go through all kinds of hell to get his chance in the NFL. Once he did, he proved what a winner he was, another former Heisman Trophy winner. As much as I love Flutie, I loved Flutie Flakes even more. Two, three balls in uh, per seating. I'm not kidding you. Some, some of you guys ate your Wheaties. I ate my Flutie Flakes. So I'm a big fan of quarterbacks that can get the job done, pocket passer, or some of these smaller guys that can scramble. Just for the record, too, hand size. Some of the smaller guys have bigger hands. Russell Wilson and Breeze. Their hand size, 10 and a quarter inch. Murray's hand size is just over nine inches, nine and a quarter. Jared Goff, one of those traditional big time pocket passer quarterbacks. What is he, 6'4", 6'3"? His hand size, nine inches. So I don't know how much that matters, but I will tell you this. Kyler Murray's the kind of guy that would have been a 30-30 player in baseball. And he's the kind of guy I think that can be an all-pro in the right system in the NFL. As I mentioned, great attitude, seems like a really good kid. And Uncle Cliff is now going to have him in Arizona. It's going to be the right place at the right time. Now, I'm not saying the Cardinals are going to improve much on that 3-13 and record with a new regime this year. But I think they do grab their quarterback of the future with that top overall pick in Nashville a couple weeks from now for the Cardinals. And happier days will soon be had in the desert. I think Kyle Murray's a player. I think the Cardinals will win some games under Uncle Cliff.